Well, I don't, I'm, no, I don't think so. Because <laughs> um, I'm not very good at operating laptops. Um, James Guthrie was the Lawrence County historian probably for about 25 years, um, starting back in the, the 60s. He was also the historian and recorder of all things for the Indiana sesquicentennial in 1966. So in the process of being county historian and historian of the sesquicentennial, he shot somewhere in the area of 4,000 slides. <clears throat> we have them all upstairs in carousels. Um, there's, I don't know, 60 some odd carousels probably. Um, have lots of different things on them, but <clears throat> they aren't accessible. I mean, unless you know what you're looking for, there, there's no way to search it. There's no way to do anything like that. They're just there. So Rowena uh, applied for a grant to the Indiana Historical Society and got us some money. And I went through and scanned all of these in. We have a little, little thing called a Wolverine scanner. It's a little conical shaped thing. And it will hold about five slides before the next one kicks out, you know. So here I am all day going slide in, slide out, slide in, slide out, button, 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 slide, you know, so that's what I would do for, I'd come in for about three hours, because I was, at that point in time, I'd already left the Times Mail, and I was working at night for the, the Mitchell school systems, so I had a couple of three hours in the morning, so I would come in, and that's what I would do, <clears throat> so I got all those scanned in, but then we had no place to put them to make them accessible. We, you know, if, if you put them on a web on your website, you know, indexing and all that kind of stuff was just going to be a pain. You just weren't going to be able to do it. So we can Rowena remembered we had done some things with this Indiana Memory Project through the Indiana State Library, and so we contacted them and said, "Yeah, this will work." And so they said, but you'll have to go on and get you a, a World Cat number, which is the Library of Congress catalog stuff. So we had to go through all, the, the, jump through all these hoops to even get started. <clears throat> so then we started um, actually taking the different carousels and started naming them. And so you can imagine you have, like I said, 50 to 60 carousels with 80 to 90 slides in it. And so you actually just start down. And for each of these slides, it, when we first started, there was probably about 16 or 17 fields we had to fill in for each one. But he said, if you don't know what it is, you know, you can, you can skip a lot of them. So that's what we did for the first 20, 25 slide or carousels until we got way ahead of them and they told us to stop. They said, you guys are too efficient. You're, you're doing them much faster than we can keep up with you. So we had to stop for a while. Well, when we go back to doing, when they give us the okay after he'd caught up with us a little bit, it had jumped from 15 or 16 fields to 21 fields that we had to fill out. And he says, you really have to fill these out. <clears throat> so that required, because I mean, Jim would tell you what it was, but it didn't necessarily tell you where it was. So, you know, you would have to do, Google searches. So he may say this is, you know, Chief so-and-so's trading post near Fort Wayne. Well, then you had to go Allen County. You had to go, you know, so you, you had to find all this stuff. <clears throat> so, like I said, we got 25 or 30 of these in, and then they changed the rules on us. So it slowed the process way, way down. And I think that was the problem he told us we didn't have to do all this on the front end and he was doing it on the back end and we were just overwhelming him because we had three or four volunteers that were just boom, 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 boom. And <clears throat> so I, I think we overwhelmed the poor guy. He was just like, stop. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so, so when we came back, we were having to do a lot more of the work and uploading things on the front end. So uh, I <clears throat> asked John Jones, who was one of the volunteers, or not volunteers, we were paying them 10 bucks an hour minimum, you know, it wasn't, wasn't a whole lot of money. And um, he said, well, I used to be able to do a carousel in probably 
six, seven hours, and now it's 10 to 12 hours. So you not quite double, but almost. So that means we ran out of money before we got done. We've got about 10 more carousels to do. <clears throat> so we either need to find another $1,500 somewhere from some organization or we're going to have to foot the bill ourselves and, and get it finished up. But <clears throat> Rowena wanted me to show you a little bit of what it is and you know so <clears throat> so I'll try to I'm not like I said I'm huh? It's it's not he wrote three books didn't he? He's got at least two books <clears throat> on Lawrence County history. He did uh, there's there's a, quarter, there's a quarter century of Lawrence County history and 33 years in Lawrence County history. <clears throat> and he, he may have done others, but those are the two main, the, the, what I call the blue books. They're about yay thick. And, uh, I got two. I got two. Yeah. Are they scary? Huh? Are they books scary? Pretty, pretty scarce, yeah. Especially the first one. The, the, we've got a few of the second ones here uh, for sale, but the, the, the first one, I can't remember which one was first. I think the quarter, quarter century may be in the first one. Uh, he lived down in Dunmore Say what? He lived down in Dunmore Hospital. Yeah, he did. And he had a, he had a farm out outside of town as well. So, um, like I say, there, there's a little bit of everything in here. But um, you'll have to contact me to because you probably won't get this if I give you the, the web address. But it's indianamemory.org.contentdm.oclc.org slash digital slash collection slash p16066coll42 slash search. <laughs> and that takes you to this page. <laughs> Okay, that'll be great. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> I looked on here this morning and there were 120 pages of slides. And then when I went back on this afternoon, there was 131. So obviously he's working and, and getting things put in. So I'm just going to scroll down here through some things. And now, John, if I want to open something in another window, can I do that? So I don't lose this. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Just, 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 just put your arrow on. Uh, which one you want to do? Uh, that the one. That it's one. on. Okay. Well, you just put. Your, and it's hit it. Because <clears throat> I don't want to lose that page. Uh, that's. Yeah. How's that? A. P. Adams, funeral director, manufacturer of furniture. Mitchell, Indiana. So that's an advertisement for an old funeral home in Mitchell, Indiana, prior, probably prior to the turn of the century. Do you know where that, where that was? I don't know where it was located in Mitchell, but, but I, I don't, most of you probably know that, like this building was Hamer and Day, and it was Hamer and Day Furniture and Undertaking. So furniture stores, they made their own furniture, they made caskets, so they were the predecessors of funeral homes. Do we think that's a hearse? An old that's an old hearse, yeah. Horse-drawn carriage hearse. Guys on, is it people I don't know if that's people or if it's just ornamentation. How old is this building? Huh? How old is this building? This building was built in the late 18... 1908? Okay. And then was upgraded in about 29... 1908? And then upgraded in about 1920, 25, somewhere in that area. So, so now to get rid of that one. Hmm? This one? Or this up here? Where's the. Do I go back space or. Well, you can. No, you, you, you got to go back to the. You're on a website now, so it's not like. Right. Okay. That one. Okay. Take All right. Back to your index. So, so you just go to Indiana Memory and the whole website that you uh -huh. gave us there. And then you can look at these as well. But you don't have to search for uh, our museum or anything? Uh-uh. This, this is our collection. Yeah, and if you do, if you do try to go in through the, the front of the site to Lawrence County, it doesn't get you. It doesn't show up. 
Yeah, if you if you go cert collections by county, we don't show up. They're going to have to. And so I'm going to have to talk to Justin about yeah. that because I emailed him this morning and I said I can't find it. I know you've got all this stuff in there, but I can't find it. Where is it? So he he sent me the link. Link. So so I'm going to see if this works. That, that rounded one isn't that part of Inklings? The rounded one is, is the golf building is the next one. The yeah, but I think this is the Inklings is in the building that's got the rounded. I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, so that's 16th Street in Bedford. Yeah. It wouldn't do it upstairs. Maybe it will here. Nope. See, it says it can't do it. So just up in the corners, the little X to X out. It wouldn't do it. Yeah, it, for some reason, for some reason, it won't allow me to blow them up. So maybe there's a little bit better. Must have been when all the when all the the, the new models were coming out or something. Everybody went to the showroom to see because you know at that point in time, automotives autos were still pretty. Pretty rare back in the day. And this is a piece of uh, the city that has not changed much. All the yeah. buildings are still there, which is it's pretty fun if you compare it to a picture uh, taken recently. You can make out every single building. Oh. I'll do this one. Where's Ben and Bar? That's the that's the great great the great pyramid project. So that's the the great pyramid. Merle Hamilton. Was up uh, uh, Merle Eddington. Merle Eddington. That that was his project. And it fizzled. It fizzled. Yeah. Um, so 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 that that's the great pyramid. Up at Judah, about that area, the Mel, um, Merle Eddington, who was a, a local dentist, wanted to do some sort of limestone park, basically. And he started creating the Great Pyramids out of limestone. Uh, yeah, a, a much smaller scale, but yes. But uh, So they started stacking stones, and he had planned to have... Uh, a railroad caboose and all there, there's going to be four or five different little attractions in this limestone park but it was known as the Great Pyramid and then Great Pyramid Scheme and yeah see this was probably in the early 70s. Yeah. I, I remember it happening. Yeah. So. But yeah. Uh, there's still, if you know where to look, there are still some. It's north of. Yeah, there's a problem with access. It's north of Old Lenny. You know, they used to be a road that went through the port. Right. Well, they ended at Old Lenny and then they ended it on the other end. Well, that pyramid's on the north end of where yes. that road was. So up, it's on the, it's the on north the end of the old, The old highway coming yeah, down from... By that cemetery. The Hopkins Cemetery. Okay. So the Hopkins Cemetery just north of Olytic, where that's where they queried the Empire State Build, or the yeah, Empire Quarry is right around this little cemetery. And that's where they queried the Empire State Building. Yeah. But if you go up to Needmore or, and come down the old 37... I remember that. Yeah, you come down, and so it's in that area where the, the road ends. If you go past the Hopkins Cemetery, it's barricaded, but you'd end up in the quarry. <laughs> so this is a, a little example of, this will be, um, this is, says it's Adena art, so an early prehistoric native person 
This is, this is in Wilmington, Ohio. So it has nothing to do with Indiana. It has nothing to do with Lawrence County. But it's, you know. Oh, he went everywhere. Well, John said the other day, John Jones, who was, uh, his wife is Marla, that works upstairs, but he, he was one of the ones working on this project and entering all the information. Uh, his son, they work for, he works for the Cleveland Guardians, which is hard for me to say. The Cleveland Guardians baseball team. And um, so when, when, after they got beat by the Yankees in the playoffs and stuff, his wife flew back to Arizona where she stay or where they their actual home is and um, so John met him in uh, I think in St. Louis and they drove the rest of the way to Arizona taking some of the, the household goods and the, the animals and all this that and the other and I forget what it was that John they, they saw a sign for something and John goes I did a slide for that <laughs> And it's somewhere way out in Oklahoma somewhere. But I did a slide for that. And then there was something else. He'd go, oh, yeah, that was in those slides. And Jared goes, how many slides did you do? <laughs> so, I mean, so this, this is, you know, this is the kind of stuff you'll find other than, you know, Lawrence County stuff. Jeff, can I get you to test the search? Yeah, I'm back. So you want... Before I, I'll search later. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to lose this. Okay. So I'm gonna go back again. I got a question. Okay. For the present, the the county jail where you live. What year was that built? Do you know? 1904, but it's around an old jail that's from 1857. Um, so the front part was built. Like, 1904. Yeah. That's a neat building. Yeah. Yeah, it is neat. I'm, I, I love that building. It's really crazy. <laughs> this is Leesville. It's an aerial photo of Leesville. Do you know when this was? These were taken anywhere from like the early 60s through the mid 70s. And I think uh, Jack Fodrell is one of the, the pilots that took him up, Becky Skillman's dad. I think he's uh, one of the ones that took him up. So there, there's lots of aerial photos of various places in Lawrence County. Uh, but that's, that's Leesville looking east, I think it says. So coming in from the west and looking over Leesville. So. Not at Leesville, no. Well, it's, I'll, find, I'll try to find Palestine in Fort Rittner. What did Jimmy Guth uh, Jim Guthrie do as a profession? Um, I think he worked in the bank. I believe he was a banker. He, and I think he followed his father in the banking industry. Um, so let's... Now I'm going to have to... Not saying it's not important, but the next... 20 or so pages are Rowena's African American history oh, okay. that she and yeah. that she and uh, Emily put in here. We did a project years ago where the Second Baptist Church let us access their archives, and so it's part of this. Yeah, it's it it's entered. It was the original thing that we first uh, said. It's it. just all lumped into yeah. Lawrence yeah. County, yeah. so it's. <laughs> So I've, I've, I've got to get with him and figure out how to do this. There's the Guthrie Mansion in Tunnelton, yeah. Yeah, I'm back. I, I, like I said, I jumped to page 23. I'm sh I don't understand why it's doing some of this. So you can see there, there's Allen County Courthouse, Allen County Museum, American Buffalo, American Elk, American Legion members standing on Lance, um, 
American, up here in the corner, it says American Legion members standing on, and it actually says two Lance Lumber trucks. So Lance Lumber was back here, but they're actually taken, I believe, over by the courthouse. I can, yeah. There it is. Yeah, see, there's one there and there's one here. They're standing on the beds of the old trucks. Yeah, that was one of the things they, they would ask and we say, you know, unless it says it on there, and sometimes it does, but Jim was real good. It, you know, it has a, a sequence. It says, you know, U.S. history or Indiana history or Indiana courthouses. You know, he, he's got it divided up. And, but <laughs> all that gets lost in translation. So now we're back to the beginning. Uh, like I said, it says there's 131, and this morning it said 120. But I wanted to get up to, let's see, page. Uh-huh. 20, was it 25? See if that takes me to page 25. Okay, we don't care about the approximate, but that's this is Day and Carter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on this one. I think I, I think that's over here at um, W. F. Myers. I think that's the W. F. Myers building because after they left here, they moved there. And then they move from there to where they are now. Yeah. So you see. Oh, it was. Okay. So you know, a pretty neat old hearse and a a funeral car there. You know, just Fourth Street. It should be Fourteenth. That's after they left here. So you see, these are all the fields you have to fill out. <laughs> some, some of them you can duplicate and just, it's, it's, each of the slides has a, a number and you, you can see them in order like this. And so all the columns are there. And so if it's like the end copyright, uh, the use statement, all those, you can click on it and hit fill down. And it'll fill every slide. So it, it, that really helps. You don't have to fill out every one, but still, it's still a lot of work. Can somebody copy I haven't tried to do that yet. I'm, I'm sure they will be. There it is. They're, they're, they're low enough. They're low enough resolutions that they, they can probably pull them off of here, but they're low enough resolution they can't really do anything major with them. He could put them on his side if he can figure out how to do it. So that's the uh, Avoca School, and you can see there's there's names: uh, Wayne Mitchell, Ben Bridwell, Hurley Geiger. So I mean, there's so I, don't, I don't know what year it is. Photographic slide of Avoca School, circa 1905. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure where the Avoca school was, do you? It's probably marked on that map that we have. That 1899 map probably is on there. Yeah, it, it, says, it, says, it says we are the holder, and they would have to seek permission from us. This is going to be sideways because that was 
how it was done. Two, two or three months ago, I don't know if this is Professor Wilbur or not, but this may be Professor Wilbur before his great fall. I don't know. But, uh, you know, that, that's why I wanted to point that one out. Let's see. That was the thing. When, when I put these in, Glenda had talked to the um, archivist and said not to to do anything, not to do any editing. So if they're sideways, they're sideways. But then after this guy said, nah, you need to probably move them. And, and, and so we've not gone back and straightened them up yet. So uh-huh, you can go in. The, the person, uh, he gave us uh, authorization to do that kind of thing. Uh, so the, the, that top one is... Um, B and L's at Washington Regional in 1975. That would have been, yeah, I believe that was the first. Uh, see, this is like Battle of Pequa, which is in Ohio. Battle of Mississippi. Uh, yeah, there's uh, one one thing is nothing but historic markers. You don't know how tired I got of typing historic marker, historic marker. And back when I was doing it, you couldn't fill in. I'm going the, the, I'm going to show you this one. This this is part of the the B the B&B, okay? That ran from Bedford to Bloomfield. But that tunnel always collapsed. And you can see it looks like it's collapsed. <laughs> yeah. So this is the tunnel was um, past Avoca, I believe. It may have been in Greene County. Right. Yeah. Right. But it, it, later we just called the B and B, the Bedford and Bloomfield. So you think it was between Bedford and Springville, or was it between I th Springville and Owensburg? I think it was Springville and Owensburg. It, yeah, that, that, that's a lot of things we we just have to guess because we don't know because there's nothing on the slides telling us when it was. So it's it you know. <laughs> kind of does. It may have been a fire, an early fire station. That's what I'm going to tr try to. Ooh, I, yeah. I was going to try to find. There was a. If I can find it. Oh. Yeah. That was a car that was actually made here in Bedford for the post office. It was only a, a couple of three years that they did that in the early 1900s. It was actually built. Yeah, it was a Bedford Postal Automobile Company, and it, it, it only existed for a, a couple of three years. But. So let's go on to the next one. That's just Riverfront Stadium. You, those of us remember Riverfront Stadium, right, Max? We used to go to a lots of ball games at Riverfront. Was there a uh, was there a park here? Of, of, was there Riverside in Indianapolis? <laughs> there was a Riverside Park in Indianapolis. Yeah. No, that was the, the ball at uh, Cincinnati, the ball di Riverfront Stadium was the old baseball stadium. At, so this is like the Bastion at a, a Fort, Bastion at Fort George, Canada. So this is, he went to Canada to take this picture. This is in Canada. So he went to Canada. So I mean, you know, he went far and wide, to say the least. But what I'm trying to find is he did in his own way. <laughs> but it's not a way that I understand. That's right. Okay. 
Whoa. Involved, if they get money for it, to where it's more like things we use. I want to go back. Where and that's why I wanted to check searchability because the last time I tried to search, I didn't get anything. But there is a problem. I would love to. How come this is, yeah. as soon as I touch it, it's going places? Because you're doing it. But as soon as I touch something, it's, I'm not clicking on anything. Laptops are like that. Yeah. I said I'm not very good at, at laptops. Yeah. Yeah. It's very sensitive. You see, you just went there and I just drug over it. So somehow it's gotten onto something. I was going to, here we go, here we go. So I'm going to do this before we, we try that. Yeah. This is, that's the garage building behind City Hall. You can see City Hall there. Yeah, we, we found out that was uh, okayed in February of 1962, painting the Bedford City Hall white. So it used to be just a red brick building. And then in 62, they painted it white. And now they've sandblasted it, and it's back a red brick building again. But, the, but that's the, the garage building uh, there behind City Hall where the, the police. Yeah. Yeah. I think we had a name for those horses, too, at some point. I remember seeing it somewhere. I don't know. Scroll down. Yeah. 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 Oh, sorry. Uh, First Christian Church. The point is, anybody can go through these just like they're going through them now. Yeah. Puts the link out there. So like Bedford High School basketball team, 1928. Well, their name that looks on. Yeah. This is Wells, Klein, Sears, Payne, Ivy. That was the coach. Reese, Murray, Crookton, Pincer, and more. Because back in the old days, before they became the Bedford Stonecutters, before they came the Mitchell Blue Jackets, before they came something, they were named after their coaches. So Bedford's ball team was called the Ivy Men because their coach was named Ivy. And but Mitchell never was named after the coach, but Mitchell was called the Cement City Five because of Lehigh. So for years, Mitchell was known as the, the cement, cement City Five. This was that Crampton is the one that worked at the time, Zoya? Probably some of his relation. I don't know. It wouldn't be Bob in 28, I don't think. No. It says Frank Crampton. Huh? Frank Crampton. Yeah. You can read that? Yeah. But that's... Um, well, <laughs> Ted would be, would be Pincer's father. Yeah, the the one that you remember that because I can't think of what is what was the the Lois Lois was the 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 wife. I don't know that she was Jim's. I think she was Jim's mother, but but yeah. So Theodore or Ted Pincer was Jim's. Yeah. So he was much much old. He was very old when he had Jim. He would because Jim was probably. Would have graduated in 72, 73? Huh? 74, okay. So, see? <laughs> so, I, I knew he was a little bit, a couple of three years older than me. I'm 77, the class of 77. So. So, let's try a search. What do you want to search for? There it is. Okay, click that picture. This is interesting. This is in the days when wealthy men, even in Bedford, had chauffeurs. So all those fields that you have to put in are searchable, right? They're all searchable yeah. fields. Yeah, that's, that, that's why I wanted yeah, to that's, see. That's great. Yeah. There you go. So this is this is the, the black chauffeur of um, what was 
E.B. Thornton. E.B. Thornton. Uh, posing with his car. With Thornton's car. With the Thornton's car. The car that he drives and takes care of. And it's a very <coughs> rare picture of our African Americans from the county. As a general rule, if they got photographed, we don't have the photographs. But but Bill Gaddy, uh, because he worked for a wealthy man, and somebody took his picture, you got the house in the background, the car. Is there an estimated date on this? It looks like I think it's in the 30s. Now that's in Bedford? That's in Bedford, yeah. And I this is, I just says 20th the century. I think it's, we might identify that house. Huh? The, uh, up, Day and Carter Mortuary is, is, is a Thornton house. And then there was another big one just north of there is where the, the boys club started. And then, so th that's why it's the Thornton Memorial Boys Club. So that's where it started. I don't know if it's this house or if this is Day and Carter. The parking lot is. Yeah. That's, this is probably... I don't know. This may be. That may be the back side of, of the house next door to Dan Carter. Yeah. Where the parking lot is. There was, uh, there was another big old house there. So I'm going to see if I can find something real quick. I'm not there. Yeah. And it's just so rare. It was one of the ones I used to get the money, actually, because it's so rare to have those pictures, especially in Southern Indiana. Huh? I don't know what Thornton's business was. Do you know what Thornton's business was? Do you know what Thornton's business was? I don't know. This is the old pool at Thornton <laughs> Park. No, that's not the same one, no. This actually sat uh, where the, 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 the sheltery house is now, yeah. It was in, that, in the parking lot. You know, a lot of these parks, you know, Wilson Park, and some, you know, they have big limestones, and people vandalize them. You know, look like the soldier guy. Wilson Park head off. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. Yeah. Was there some in Thornton Park? Yeah. There were. That building there. That one building's pretty old, isn't it? That's what I was trying to look for. Um, there was, there was a, a big slide there, and there was, there was a, a lion gate and an eagle gate in at, 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 at Thornton Park. So yeah. I would say this is kind of facing, shooting north and east. Yeah, I'll play south and east. So that's, what is it? I'll play south and east. Yeah, and then later on, they ovaled out the sides a little bit to make it bigger. So it, if you looked at the pool, the, the footprint of the pool was square on the ends and then the, the sides were kind of circular. So it, it popped them out a little bit. So we're, we're going to give up on this for, and then we're going to go to... So did it, did it, when you did the search, did it get anything of what you wanted? Yeah. Oh, the, the Bill Gaddy. Gaddy. Yeah, that was what that she was wanted. The name that I remember. So, all right. So if, if you do a search on Google for Lawrence County Museum of History, okay, you'll get something that looks similar to this, and you'll see, it says see photos and see outside. So we're going to go to see photos.
and you see all the photos here on the, the left, the ones that have that little means they're 365 degree. What? You know, that, that, that's an older one, but yeah. But we did, we got a grant uh, from the Lawrence County Tourism. And if I can figure out how to do this, well, that one's not, okay. Say what? No, it should. If I if I, if I clicked on, yeah, that's why. I'm, it didn't take me. Okay, let's. So you just hold this down, and then you move it around. Well, you got to get on there first. Yeah. You get on that one. It's got, it's, it's got, you've got to call it up. You want to call us? You had that called up before, right? So, yeah. Yeah, go oh. ahead and call it back up. You have to okay. Left now, if you, you, the you put your mouse here, hold this down, and then move your mouse. There you go. Uh, okay. So, you, you do it. No, no, you you know how to do it. No, no, you, you, you need to learn. <laughs> Good teacher. So, there you go. So. You can go up and down and all that kind of stuff. So let's see. Let me go. But that's on just on Google. And um, like I said, we got a grant to do this. And you basically tour the entire museum like that. Yeah. So you can't see any details. So the idea is it gets people to want to come here. So you just click on see photos and then you Right. Yeah. So here's another one. The library. Hmm. Yeah. It's like the street view if you do that. Yeah. But it's an interior street view. Hmm. And the whole the whole idea here is just to get people interested in coming. Yeah. They they say that a person that sees something like this on the web is forty five percent more likely to come to your facility. So any of them that have that little circular thing on them, let's see, yeah. Does every county in Indiana have a museum? No, not, not, not some counties don't. And that was one of the things that came up today in our um, meeting with the uh, histor county historians and the Indiana Historical Society. Jay County has no historic markers in it whatsoever. So, you know, Lawrence County has 20 some odd, but Jay County does not have a single one. And they said, well, somebody please help Jay County get a historic marker. Can you find a link between your county and Jay County and get them a historic marker? We'd like to say all 92 counties have a historic marker. I'm not sure exactly where Jay... <laughs> is it on the river or just on the, no, no, it's on the Ohio street. border over uh, Central? Right, yeah. yeah Central. So up toward Richmond, yeah. up that way. Yeah. So, so that that was one of the things they said. Would you please help Jake County get up? So this one guy from um, he was from uh, New Albany, and he says they call. Uh, what? Oh. Oh, across the top. Yeah, right. It does look yeah. But it doesn't yeah. in real life look like that. No, it's just something about that picture. Sorry, Jeff, we interrupted yeah. you. <laughs> I didn't know what I was, oh, but this guy's from New Albany and he said he said plaques are my thing. He he said I've really gone crazy with plaques. And he says, My nickname down there is Plaque Man. <laughs> and he says 
he says, I really don't like that name very well, but he says, there's not a great connotation. But, uh, but he said, yeah, he said, um, and he said they have 23 or 24. And then um, oh, plaques, oh, historic, markers. historic markers and such. And then uh, I was trying to think, the man from Owen County was, was here. And um, he said that, um, he said a, f a few years ago, he said, we, we got a box of pictures and we're, we were going through it. And it said the 1913 flood, and it says the colored school with water up to the windows. He said, nobody knew that there was a colored school in Owen County. So he said, come to find out, that was the second one. He said, there was one prior to that. And he said, they have had, um, a, they, they have a, a trail that they have developed. And he said, there are stops along the trail with little markers and this kind of stuff. And the lady from Petersburg said that their historical society, their genealogy society, and the DAR share a building. And she's the lady that said they have a, a $4,000 budget for the year. But she said that they have worked with uh, high school students and they have developed a trail. It's a fitness trail. And if you do two or three loops, you'll walk five miles or something or other. But she says, I don't understand this, but there's some sort of code. And I, said, I assume it's a QR code that uh, if you walk along this trail, there'll be a sign there with this crazy looking little thing and you hold your phone up to it yeah. and it will give you the history of what stood on that site yeah. and so they have developed that down there and so that'd be, that's a, an it's idea that the yeah the, in the yeah the Green Hill Cemetery <coughs> has a QR code and you can call up and it will take you around to some of the the famous people buried there so so I wasn't a, a much on Indian history but it kind of gives you a little bit of idea of a couple of projects that we've got the the this one here the the 360 view is actually completed I think we still have to do the the report, the report to the the uh, that was through the tourism office and yeah no they don't but but you know they, they should realize that exhibits they change when the were taken. but um, so you know this this wouldn't be actually completed other than the paperwork and it was a, a, a Lawrence County tourism grant and uh, Tanya had a group of the southern Indiana tourism directors here and right after we'd applied for this so she had me come down and talk to them and so I sent her the link after it was done so she could send them to because all the a lot of the other ones wanted the information who we worked with and that kind of stuff because they were very interested in doing this for their museums as well so so like I said this one's done the the Guthrie slide project is probably three quarters of the way done maybe a little bit more than that because we've got over 3,000 of the 4,000 in already so